What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercar video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to let you guys know when I go live for live streams and other good videos. Uh, first things first, I want to say a big thank you to you guys. You guys have been killing it. Killing it. Those views. Man, you guys still watch me. I love you. God bless you guys so much. But anyways, let's get into today's video. Giants Unleashed has been announced as the brand new event in WWE Supercard. So, as you all know, we're having most likely this brand new event this week coming out. Giants Unleashed. Now, pretty much the mode. Uh, if I had to describe what the mode is like, I would say LMS and OTL didn't use a rubber and made the baby we all know as a Giants Unleashed. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Uh, weird combination there, but you know, I guess they make whoever's whoever's happy. So uh, if you guys go into the help center, they actually do have this uh, pretty much this thing in there. And as you can clearly see, Giants Unleash is the brand new mode. So we'll get into this intro now first to start it off. Giants Unleash is a community-based solo event. Okay, so it's going to involve the community in some aspect. Uh, I don't mind that. I would love to have more community type events like this. It's awesome. Gets us all together again, like OTL. Let's all get the top prize, guys. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, you know... You have your own bracket, and then you have the community bracket. So, is it because I would hate to help the freeloaders out because they don't deserve a shit. Anyways, uh, battle giants, climb the leaderboards, and earn rewards. Yes, you heard that right. You got to beat giant cars, and they're freaking massive. You ever seen Mandingo? Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? All right. Uh, over the course of the event, giants will periodically appear for the for you to battle that's what's throwing me off i mean like is, is there's gonna be periods when there's no one there's nothing like what like you you do know there's 24 hours in a day we, we work we sleep how often is this going to happen where we don't have an attack and not like if it's like maybe a half hour to an hour understandable but we'll have to wait and see uh, i wish we had a test or a sample like that but we don't do as much damage as you can and try to defeat them before they escape. So obviously they're going to escape a thousand times before you even kill them. I've seen the HP. We're talking like 1 billion HP right now. Each battle consists of three rounds of attacks. Choose up to four superstars to attack the giant each round. Very easy to do. Very uh, Now the apparently the arrows in this game, which is right here. Cards with the same alignment arrow as the giant will do more damage. So try to match them if you can. So, if you're battling a left arrow giant, you wish to have four left arrows in your deck for that giant. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, like, oh my god. If you want an extra boost, you equip gear to do bonus damage for certain actions. You can find gear on the draft board. Thank god. Or purchase some before battle, which most people are going to probably do on day one. Just to get the taste of it. How much, how good is it? Wise. Anyways. Hopefully it's not a cash grab event because it could be. You never know. We had LMS and OTL. Two of the biggest cash grabs ever. Ring Dom isn't as bad. You know, you, you could do that for free if you want. If you're lucky to get it for free. And Road to Glory, you could do the first side for free, but you can't do the heroic. So, But it's not as big of a cash grab as LMS is and OTL. Let's be real. All right. Climb the leaderboards and earn points toward milestone rewards based on how much damage you do. So what? I, so are you telling me like Titan tier players are gonna get like the worst damage? Like I feel bad for people in the lower brackets because they're gonna struggle with this event. But I don't know how it's gonna work, so we have to wait and see. Leaderboards are reset with each new giant, so you can earn multiple leaderboard rewards throughout the event. I like that idea. Not just focus on one, focus on many different ones. I like that. Thank you very much on that. The rewards you earn are based on your final leaderboard position when the giant is defeated or escapes. Yikes. Work together to beat the giant for better rewards. Very understandable. Very, I understand it. Uh, it seems like the giant says escapes 2 hours and 47 minutes. Now, I did look at the trailer of this. I'm going to show the trailer in this video. There was bouts. So, I can tell you right now, there's going to be bouts in this mode. 
100 percent there's not gonna just be you could just keep attacking over and over there is going to be bouts 100 percent miles from rewards are persistent throughout the whole event so keep adding to your total no matter which giant you're attacking all right uh those numbers though are freaking ridiculous i don't know about that uh 28 million for a summer slam card are you, are you out of your effing mind Nah, that's actually doable because we do a, we have cards that are like a million four. That's like four million per attack. That's that's doable. But then you get into these numbers up here, and then you're a little worried. So I'm like, okay, that's a lot. Even with free bouts, that's a lot. And you're only on the shattered. Look at that neon gap and the shattered gap. Imagine WrestleMania, then uh, WrestleMania Cataclysm. And of course, there will be an event card for this, so obviously that. You can claim your miles and rewards as soon as you have enough points for each one. It's a little scary to see, but okay. Uh, eligible players who complete all the milestones will be able to keep progressing towards the heroic rewards. Uh, now, this throws us off because we have here the silver symbol, which is what you get when you complete the card in like a ring dom or half of it. And then we have here the gold one, which is pretty much like the pro in a way, just without the side angles right here. So, interesting what type of event this is going to be when it comes to, like, that type of... If we're going to get the full heroic pro, it's, it, that'll be a different case scenario, like the one event, not two events. But like I said, guys, Thursday can't come soon enough so we can see more. Hopefully they give us something cool on Wednesday to see that we can understand this game mode better. And get a better understanding, but we're all going into the dark again, just like we went in the dark for OTL. So, hopefully, some of us use our brains and then goes on to it. Anyways, guys, uh, now I'm going to show you the trailer of what Giants Unleashed is going to look like. It's a very short trailer. Thank you to JB for providing me this trailer. So, thank you so much, JB. I love you so much. Thank you so, so much. All right, guys, here you go. That was the weirdest Brock Lesnar laugh I've ever I've ever heard. Creepy as fuck. <laughs> I tell you that. So, well, guys, uh, I do got some a little extra stuff for this video, so I'm gonna throw in my fusions to end off this video. Look forward to streaming this event. Hopefully, it's not expensive, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I look forward to streaming this event on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. I hope. And I look forward to the event, and I hope you guys are ready for it, baby. Let's get it. So here's uh, some fusions and stuff like that. Sorry for this one having no sound. I recorded it. I did post this one on Twitter. You guys will know this one. So here's that one from Twitter, and then the new one right after it. All right, guys, so to end off this video, I figured I'd do a little fusion for you guys and uh, claim a Team Ring Dom Rewards. So uh, I came and claimed a Team Ring Dom because I can't. We got to go back up. So, okay, we get Team Ring Dom Rewards. I haven't. I can't claim it yet. We're going to go ahead and claim our fusion. It is complete. I've gotten a WrestleMania, my last one. Probably get a WrestleMania in this one as well. Uh, I'm expecting Mandy Rose because I haven't got her yet. I get I got the same WrestleManias. I don't think there's anything new I got, but I, I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna cover myself. All right, there we are. Pretty sure it's a WrestleMania, 100. percent And done. So yeah, what was our WrestleMania card? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw there, we got Carmella again. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are like, hey, hey, was that a pro? No, it was not. It is actually my third Carmella. As you can clearly see, I already have her right over here. Here's her pro right there. So, it is a third Carmella. I'll take it, though. Third Carmella is freaking sweet because I want two. Because I do have her as a compatible tag with my Bailey. Which is also another perfect link with her because they have the same stats pretty much. So if power gets called, I'm fucked. But if any other stat gets called, I'm in I'm in the money seat. 
So yeah, guys, I'll do it today's video. I hope you all enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on that road to hopefully hitting that 20K subs by the end of Season 5. That's not going to happen. But anyways, I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.